Hello friends, hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we will discuss how to plot an FTIR graph in Origin Pro software uh, when uh, you have to plot two different kind of processes. For example, if you are studying any kind of adsorption process, then you need to plot a graph uh, having uh, two lines. One line shows um, FTIR values or percentage transmittance before adsorption and the second uh, line represent uh, data after adsorption. Uh, similarly, if you are uh, studying any process uh, that you are using a raw uh, composite or raw material, then you need to activate that raw material with some kind of activating agent or modifying agent uh, using different technique. Then you need to um, justify or you need to um, clarify the change in functional functionalities of your selected adsorbent. For this reason, you need to plot a graph showing a difference in between both before and after a treatment process. So, in order to plot such a graph showing two different uh, processes or different uh, lines, we need to add uh, data um, both before and after process. So, if you are, for example, if you are studying uh, adsorption of any kind of pollutant uh, the, or degradation process uh, or any other process, then you need to uh, add wave number in first column and then you need to add your data uh, before uh, any kind of treatment in second column and after treatment process you need to add your FTIR raw data in third column. So here you see there is no third column in order to add a third column here just to press ctrl D and um, then they will ask how many number of columns do you want to add to this worksheet. So uh, in this case we need to add one more, more column. So I just click on enter. So one more column has been added and uh, for example if I want to put my this FTIR data into Origin Pro software then I first select this FTIR data uh, by control C and just paste my uh, FTIR data here. Here in this row where the numerical value has been started. So uh, you can um, paste your data by right click and then click on paste. You can also paste your data by control V. So after uh, adding or putting my data, I need to mention the axis title. For example, on X axis, I need to write wave number. So I write wave number here. So what is the unit of wave number? Uh, it is in per centimeter. So I write per centimeter here. So on Y axis, um, I need to um, write transmittance. So what is the unit of transmittance? It is in the percentage. So I write the unit of transmittance as percentage. So what are the comments for it? It is the FTIR data before adsorption process or you can write any your comments here before treatment, before adsorption or before photocatalysis so on. So uh, similarly in um, third column it is also a transmittance data after a specific um, process of treatment and what is the unit of transmittance it is in percentage. So uh, in comment section I will write after adsorption that is it is that FTIR data after adsorption okay. So um, after putting my data and access title here I just uh, select all the data and um, uh, from here in toolbar I can select plot and then I will select um, uh, any kind of graph that you want to use for example if I select line graph then our line graph will be obtained in this way this is showing that FTIR graph before adsorption and after adsorption that is black line uh, represent data before adsorption while the red line shows data after adsorption so in this way you can plot your FTIR graph um, showing both before and after process uh, values okay so in if you want to uh, reverse the order of x axis values you just need to double click on any of these values and then uh, this box will appear just click on scale uh, keep in mind uh, in any kind of FTIR graph it is better that your x axis values start from the highest value and end on the lowest value while in this case it starts from the lowest value and end on the highest value so we need to correct this by reversing its order that is we will start our FTIR graph from 4500 and we will end it into 500 uh, per centimeter so in this way you can see the values uh, order has been reversed 
uh, and it is the correct one that is it will start from higher value and ends on the lower value okay so in this way you can plot with your FTIR graph and reverse the can reverse the order of values and if you want to save this FTIR graph in a PNG form just click on file then click on export graph open dialog box here and you can see the what kind of um, image you want to save for example PNG, JPG, T4 any kind of image and where you want to save this data for example if you want to save this um, into desktop then click on desktop here by clicking on the three dots here uh, what will it be the your file name just click on this and write your file name here for example if i write it as ftir so i will write uh, ftir and then you can also select any kind of dpi for example 300 600 900 so i selected 300 here and then click on ok so in this way my this ftir graph will be saved in uh, desktop folder with the name ftir i just click on this ftir graph and here you can see uh, ftir graph uh, plotted in origin has been displaced so in this way uh, you can uh, easily plot an ftir graph in origin pro software so um, uh, i hope this video will help you uh, in plotting your ftir graph if you find it suitable then kindly subscribe my channel for more many more informative videos stay tuned with your researchers as um, the best is yet to come thank you very much for your valuable time allah hafiz